Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie. Happy Valentine's Day. So today I wanted to share with you a collective haul from several different places where I get things to put together my girls' Valentine's Day packages. And I thought that would be a fun thing to share today. But first I'd like to share with you a story time. So you see this big guy right here? I don't think you understand how big this thing is and ray what did you name this one ray spot. his name is spot yeah. okay so she named him spot and for those of you who have not been with me for a while i think when i very first started my channel i shared with you a video on how to store stuffed animals because my husband always buys the most humongous animals for my daughter, stuffed animals for my daughter uh, for Valentine's Day. So if you recall from several years ago, I did a video on how we store all of my daughter's stuffed animals. And this is her zookeeper that my husband built for her. And basically these are elastic bands like jail bars and you can just pull a stuffed animal out or tuck it back in so easy or you can throw it in over the top but as you can see it is completely stuffed with animals and look how big this one is and most of them are taken up by these humongous animals he buys for her and this is the one she most recently got when we went to Dubai he brought her back that one and we had to make sure it could actually fit in our suitcases. But what's great about this zookeeper here is that it rotates. You can just spin it around. This side's a mirror. If you keep spinning it, on this side is a, a bulletin board where she can post all her stuff. But I don't want to, you know, show any of her personal information. So she has a mirror, a, she has a pegboard a mirror, the zookeeper, and on the far back is an art gallery of all the things that she likes to display that she had over the years. So yeah, that's how we store our stuffed animals. And she's been collecting stuffed animals for years since she was a child. Whenever I used to work in corporate America and had to go out of town for business, I would always bring her back stuffed animals and my oldest daughter always loved socks. And so that tradition continued on and on. And then uh, on Valentine's Day, my husband started buying stuffed animals for um, the girls, but Ray really took to the stuffed animals. So that was her thing. And so over the years, he would buy the stuffed animal on Valentine's Day and he would hide it somewhere. And so the next morning she would have to go search for it. And He's hidden these stuffed animals in so many different places. It will be under her bed. It might be in her closet. So when she gets ready for school the next day, she opens the door and a stuffed animal and a balloon falls out. Or it might be in the shower. So she gets up for school, get ready for school. It's a big stuffed animal and a balloon in the shower. And so this has been their tradition for years. So this year when Ray woke up, she went and searched all around the house. And then she came to me and said, Mom, Mom, Dad forgot. I'm like, what are you talking about? Dad forgot our tradition. I looked everywhere for my stuffed animal and I can't seem to find one. I said, well, so, oh, well, Ray, maybe he'll just, you know, bring it home when he's coming home from work. No, no, no. If he brings it home when he comes home from work, that means he forgot and you reminded him. Doesn't he understand that this is the only gift that matters? I'm like, whoa. I say, like, wait, so the gift that I gave you for Valentine's Day doesn't matter? Wow. And she's like, no, sorry, Mom, sorry, Mom. I didn't mean it like that. You just know that Dad and I have this tradition, and I can't believe that he forgot. And so then she went out to her car, and when she went in her car, this is what she found. And so she runs back into the house. Mom, 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 he didn't forget. So I have yet another humongous animal to figure out where to put him. So first up, I got this suitcase here. It's a beautiful suitcase with the leather, brown leather trim detail. It's a hard top and it's black. And I picked that up for my husband because he wanted a suitcase to match his grown A man uh, weekender bag that I picked up for him for Christmas. So he wanted his whole ensemble to coordinate. 
And he'll be going on his guys only trip next month. Him and his uh, childhood buddies, they try to get together annually, but it seems like trying to get everyone together has been a hassle for the past couple of years. So it's been like every three to four years now. So they're going to go out of the country and have a good time. First up, I wanted to start with the items that I plan on incorporating in our Valentine's Day family breakfast. And each year I pull out these heart shaped baking dishes and I picked these up from the Goodwill several years ago. And as you can see, these are from Crate and Barrel and I picked these up for 50% off. They're $4.94. They came together as a set for both of them for $4.94, half off, so that was $2. So basically these were a dollar a piece. And I usually use both of these, one for something sweet and one for something savory. So something like a quiche will go on this one and then another one like a crumble of some sort. And then I also pulled out the stemless champagne flutes from Dollar Tree. And I think these would be perfect for mimosas. Next up, I'm going to share with you what was in Reagan's uh, gift bag. Now you all saw the big dog spot. My husband got that for her and she got a balloon. And then she also got some Twix candy. That's her favorite candy. And then I also picked up this really comfortable cute pajama set it's like a polka dot pajama set with a little bow on the pocket here and then it has a pair of pants she will be going on an overnight trip with her fbla group the future business leaders of america so she needed some nice pajamas for packing so I picked that up for her and then I got her this cute little airpod case holder it's a blinged out airpod case as you can see and and this is what it looks like she already opened it and she has her airpod case in here she already took the um, earbuds out and this is just a cute stylish way to carry her AirPods. Now for my oldest daughter, this is how I put together her care package. Now she is in college. She's actually finishing up her last year and she will be graduating this May. So I am going to put in her favorite bottle of wine. Yes, she's old enough to drink wine and I cannot believe I'm giving my daughter a bottle of wine, but she actually put me on to this, this Stella Rosa Black. So I bought her a bottle of that so she could celebrate Valentine's Day. Maybe she'll pour me a glass because I'm actually going to be meeting her um, and hanging out with her today for lunch during Valentine's Day to give her her package because it's um, you know cheaper for me to bring her package to her then mail this heavy package with all of the stuff in it and then I can actually give her the money that I was going to use to mail it so that she could have some more spending money. Um, these items that I'm going to share with you I picked up from Dollar Tree. My daughter loves collecting socks. Now Reagan's thing is stuffed animals. My oldest daughter's is socks. So I saw these cute little llama socks. She likes llamas. So I said, oh, these would be perfect. They came two in a, a pack. And then she also is crazy about a sloth. I don't know why, but they had these sloth socks there. So I picked up a pack of those as well. And, and then I also just picked up a pack of uh, the three pack no show socks in black. Now, usually I always ask her, what does she need uh, this month? What necessities do, does she need? And I'll just make sure that I include those in her package along with some fun goodies as well. She needed some deodorant, so I picked up a couple of these. And then she also said she wanted me to make her a bobby pin holder like I have here at the house. She said, Ma, I love that. I meant to tell you that at Christmas. So I went to the Dollar Tree and got the supplies that I needed to make her one of these. And I realized the Dollar Tree now sells them in the three compartments. I could not find the four compartments, but that's fine. So I'm going to put that together for her. And I just picked up several packs of different sizes and types of bobby pins. So she'll get a bobby pin holder as well. She wanted some headbands. She said she wanted both the thick ones. So I got these thick cottony ones in black. And then the Dollar Tree also had these neutral colors, all the different browns. It's a three pack of brown. And I picked her up those. 
And then she also wanted the skinny headbands, like the ones like this that she can just pull her hair back. The Dollar Tree typically carries these, but they're always out of them. They're so hard to find. So I just picked these up from my local uh, hair supply shop. My eldest daughter is really into makeup and all things, you know, um, beauty. And so they have these cute little, found these cute little false eyelash extension applicators in the Dollar Tree. And I picked one of these up for her. And I also picked up one for myself. Also from the Dollar Tree, I picked up some dryer sheets. She requested some dryer sheets. And then she also needed some, um, she also needed laundry detergent. So I thought this was a weird request, but she wanted me to pick up her some spray olive oil. So I picked up a can of Pam. I always send her back when she comes home or when I'm sending the care package. She always wants me to send her disposable utensils and plates and things like that. So I have a bunch of paper plates, some forks and uh, spoons and we buy the humongous packs of forks and spoons and paper plates from Costco so I always am able to send her a good portion of those on a monthly basis and then I'm also including a um, package a six pack of toilet paper but I don't have that right here I already have that over in my car and finally she asked me to send her up some more heating pads now she uses the Tommy's heating pads for her cramps but in addition, she also uses this. She was in a car accident not too long ago, not at fault. She was actually in a lift. Was it an Uber or a lift? She was coming from a party and the lift driver was driving and someone hit the lift driver and she got into an accident. So she uses these for her uh, knee and her back. She's like, when she's in class, these help a ton for that, um, for those aches and pains. And for those of you who are not familiar with Tommy's, Tommy's is um, a leak proof period panty and it stands for time of the month plus panties uh, that I created or invented a few years back. It's a period panty with a pocket on the front where you can stick in a disposable heating pad and it'll soothe those cramps throughout the day. You can also use those pockets, a lot of young girls like to use the pocket to store all of their pads for the day in that pocket uh, so they don't have to worry about how to sneak a pad to the bathroom at school but if you are interested in that that is something that young girls would love to have for valentine's day or any day of the um you know or any day of the year and i will leave that link below so you can check out the tommies and also leave the link to the video on how they actually work but you get three panties in a pack and you get three disposable heating pads and you can also buy additional heating pads if you need to so i'm going to share a couple of more random things i picked up from the dollar tree but these are not included in any of their gift packages um, these are just things that i picked up for myself the dollar tree is selling the u by kotex uh, there and i picked a couple of these up i I'm put, putting together a period kit for my uh, younger audience and that will be up on my second channel, my Tommy's channel. So I'm trying to get uh, things so that I can give some giveaways and bless some young girls that, you know, are having um, problems affording and getting the things that they need for that time of the month. I also picked up several of these small handheld mirrors that I'm going to include in the period kits that I make for the giveaways. And these are really great and compact and you can pick those up from the Dollar Tree and make a period kit for your young girl if you'd like. And I picked up these pink Starbursts, the all pink Starbursts. And then I picked up these Seek and Find books. I think these are really cute. And I got these for my nieces and nephews. My brother's uh, kids, when they come for the summer, I always like to just keep something so they could have something to play with when they're at the house. I also picked up just a um, pack of gloves. I just keep these in my car. And then I saw this really nice in style book and it's called Getting Gorgeous. And it's just all things beauty related. So I also found a couple of more of these miniature frosted pine cones from the Dollar Tree. 
And I think these are perfect for the winter time, bringing that winter vibe in your home. And I use these typically for vase fillers. I picked up this snakeskin headband and I thought this was really nice. I actually tried it on in the store before I purchased it because you know you can't return, you can exchange at Dollar Tree. And this is perfect. And it has the elastic in the back to adjust to the size that you need. Dollar Tree has some of the cutest little notebooks and I love this one here. It has the gold foil that says start today. I picked up several packs of Sazone and what I do is just open up the individual packets and I dump it in one larger um, spice jar so that I can just shake out however much I need instead of using you know, a partial packet and having to roll up the packet. And if you'd like to see my kitchen um, cabinet organization, um, I'll leave that link. Uh, I'll leave the link to that video below. And then I picked up two flavors of this bubbly sparkling water, the grapefruit flavor and the blackberry. I see this in my grocery store uh, quite often and it's um, close to two bucks a can. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoy your Valentine's Day. Hopefully I gave you some inspiration. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys.